Hello, and welcome to another update for my lovely Patreon supporters. Uh, this week I decided to do a video outside. It's a beautiful, warm day. And uh, I wanted to start off this week by giving a shout-out, because it being uh, Thanksgiving week, I wanted to uh, basically pay my thanks to uh, a lot of the... Um, the comrades, the uh, friends, the uh, colleagues, uh, most of whom are volunteers in the Inkscape Pro Project, um, who really do uh, make Inkscape what it is. Um, you know what they say, there's nothing crazier than a uh, piece of software written by one per per person, and uh, Inkscape definitely has to be the opposite of that. Um, not so much developed by committee, but developed by a committed and, and pretty energized team of individuals with lots of different skills. So I guess I should start off with uh, Tav. Thank you, Tav. Uh, it never ceases to amaze me how much uh, like the intricate fixes that you put in for text, some of the, the code click cleaning that you do just makes a lot of the issues disappear. Um, you know, it's the kind of um, clean features and also like fundamental fixes to the SVG um, that I wish I could do more, more of. Um, Mark, thank you, uh, because you, you're incredibly studious and, and, and forthright about making sure that the code that gets into Inkscape is correct and looking after lots of different aspects of Inkscape, running the developer meetings, uh, really being a, a pretty cool lead, lead leader on the developer side. Um, Thomas is, is amazingly good at doing code reviews and fixing bugs that crop up and helping me, being very patient with me actually, to, to help me uh, fix some of the issues, especially when it comes to memory usage and various other things. Um, Javier, uh, thank you. Uh, gracias, mi amigo. Um, because here is a person who is, uh, is just incredibly bold about the kinds of features and functionalities that he'll he'll try to do and he'll try lots of different things to, to get a piece of functionality to work um, it's kind of incredible to see uh, you know some of the most beloved features in Inkscape are, are due to Javier's bravery at just you know hacking at a problem until like a, a reasonable solution can be found um, and I want to give a big shout out to, uh, to Adam um, for basically creating user experience, for helping with that, even though it's a pro project that's very new and developers don't all, always give it the credit that it deserves, and it looks like you know we you know we need patience in order to kind of develop a lot of the really cool ideas that come out of the DUX team. So uh, I understand that it, it requires patience to be able to really um, you know deal with developers who have their own things going on. Um, big shout out to Chris, uh, to Marin, um, to Tyler Durden, um, to basically a host of other individuals who look after everything from the forums to um, to the bug tracker to documentation. People who, you know, they they do a bit here and a bit there. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but it always adds up to making Inkscape better. Uh, people like Michelle who do who who do writing and news and and you know may, do do the kind of things that developers don't really want to do but like really really help the project. Um, I want to give a big shout out to you all. Thank you so much for helping with Inkscape. Um, okay, so now I want to move on to what have I been doing this week? So as as I said, I would do. I've worked on the the, the startup screen. And uh, it's it's basically there. Uh, we're, we're looking at a few last-minute integration uh, issues about whether it should pop up in front of or as well as an, another as the main screen. Um, but as you walk through through it, you can change the ca canvas. It, you can make your page grey or white. Uh, you can change the key keyboards directly, which a lot of new users don't really understand. You can do. Um, you can change the theme directly, and, and people who are new to Inkscape will be able to see that there's an ability to change the theme. Uh, we have some links and an explanation of the fact that like Inkscape is this community pro project, and uh, we want to be able to invite users in to uh, participate, collaborating, uh, con con contributing their time, uh, but also hel helping with fun funding if they can. Um, 
because you know Inkscape is only as good as the people who are involved in investing it and um, you know I, every, every little helps to kind of make Inkscape just that little bit better um, and then we have fi finally the, the, the loading screen um, uh, we had a big UX team meeting this week uh, uh, on the big blue button like a live stream um, going through icons and design of, of this screen so that we could make it as simple and intuitive to use that you could very quickly uh, boot up Inkscape and load a recent file or load up a specific temp template with some nice looking icons I think um, and so overall this functionality you know it integrates into Inkscape nicely it doesn't get too much in the way you can turn it off if you want to uh, which is important because I know a lot of uh, users who are uh, should we say st strictly to technically conservative will, will not like this getting in the way of their workflow uh, so it's very important that it's it's able to be switched off um, but it looks like it'll it'll be in for 1.1 1, 1 .1, which is great um, for next week there's not going to be many features now until the until the release uh, because it's it's freezing time in two days and that means that we're going to be focusing very heavily on uh, fixing problems rather than creating new features. Um, it's a gear shift, so I'm hoping that my updates in the future won't be too boring because there'll be a lot more, I fix this bug, I fix this bug, fix this crash, etc. But this gives you an opportunity because if you have a priority about like which pro problems are affecting you the most and you want to make sure that these things are fixed, now is a good opportunity to actually download the, um, the developer version um, test it out, uh, see what's broken in it, and, and report it. Um, and if it has been reported already, give a give a thumbs up to it so that we can uh, prioritize it. Because we really, we really do want to make sure that like we won't be able to fix every bug, but but with your help, we'll be able to at least fix the ones that are important to them to, to the most amount of pe people. Um, so that's it for this week. I will see you next week to to have a look at bugs and prioritization. Uh, have a very good week, everybody, and I hope you had a good th Thanksgiving.